See, this is a cup. Feels like it's more than a cup, but it's one cup. Okay. Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. Jacob James, finally. Finally, I mean, uh, how many times did you send me this recipe? About five times, six times maybe? Uh, Doug C also sent me this recipe. It's Mississippi pot roast. Now I'm gonna try and change it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Gotta get out the butter. Can't forget the butter. Cannot forget the butter. And uh, what we're doing is we're making Mississippi pot roast. So, sup fellas? I'm making Mississippi pot roast. Get the fuck out of here. I don't like Mississippi Pottos. This is from Mississippi. That's, that's for Mitzi. Not for refined Mississippians like me. <laughs> yes, that's right. We're making Mississippi Pottos. M I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Humpback, humpback, I. Mississippi Pottos. Yes, that's right. Mississippi Pottos. And what you have to do is you have to take the chuck roast. We got a chuck roast, and it's gonna. This is a, a crock pot recipe. So we're gonna take the uh, the chuck roast and slam it into the pot roast. All right, and then, of course, you know, we gotta put our uh, spices on. Accent, and we'll put some little thyme on here because we have thyme on our side, but we don't want to have too much thyme on our hands. All right, then we'll do the uh, lemon and pepper. Lemon pepper, lemon pepper. All right, and we'll put a little bit of garlic powder. And of course, you can't do it on one side if you don't do it on the other. So garlic powder, thyme, so you need time and time to make yeah, a little bit more. Uh, I'll throw some uh, lemon pepper, and there we go. Now it calls for ranch to be put on it, but I don't. I couldn't find ranch, and I don't really like ranch, so I'm gonna substitute it with some of this onion soup and his own packet here of uh, Mississippi pot roast. Maybe this has the ranch in it. All right, Ooh, there we go. Coming together, it's coming together, and this is it. And a packet of au jus. Au jus, au jus! Now, it said something about pepperconi peppers. I don't know what a pepperconi pepper is. So I found these cabanali peppers, and it says it's just, and the picture has just 12 on there, so. Although I'm gonna cut them in half each. Let me see, cut these things in half. And so, well, I think I probably should take this shit out. Whatever the fuck this is. Take out the heart of the pepper. All right. Yes, I don't know what a peppercorny pepper is, but I couldn't find any. So I'm putting these cabanali peppers in there. They look like cabanali. The picture I saw pepper, uh, Peppercorny peppers, but ShopRite doesn't. ShopRite doesn't have many good vegetables. I mean, just look at their fucking uh, grapes. I mean, their grapes are pathetic. I mean, you, uh, I mean, they're, they're the most disgusting-looking grapes you could ever fucking find. That's what you find at ShopRite. I think. I think. Well, let me see. Here we go. Peppers, peppers, putting in some peppers. Now we have to put a quarter, a quarter cup of butter. This butter always makes it better. So I'm gonna cut this. Then this is a cup, a quarter cup of butter, half stick butter. So I'm gonna put some butter in here because butter makes it better. All right, put in some broth. Now, one of these recipes says don't use broth. The other one says use water. 
Uh, I'm gonna just put this in. It says, use a cup, but I'm gonna put the whole goddamn thing in. And there we go, some beef broth in there. It's gonna take eight hours in the crock pot. So we're gonna put it on low, cover up the crock pot, and uh, Alexa, set a timer for eight hours. I'm gonna go to a devil game, do go for my walk, and just have a day as this cooks away. All right, we're just over six hours into cooking, and well, let's see how we're looking. Wow, it's, it's really bubbling up nicely. Might have put a little too much broth in there, but uh, we're gonna add some carrots now and uh, finish cooking. And uh, before, we're, uh, before we're done, maybe in about an hour or so, we're gonna start making, uh, taking, uh, reducing some of this uh, broth and uh, turning it into a gravy. Gravy! Alexa, stop. All right, we've been cooking for eight hours. It looks like it's a little stewy. So we're gonna fix that real fast. <laughs> gonna make some gravy. All right, we'll get a colander to drain the beef and the carrots and the peppers. Gravy. Gravy. Let's put this in the colander. Come on. Drain, 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 drain it out. No doubt. Drain, 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 drain it out. Doesn't that make it so much easier? Roast and veggies on a plate. Boom, 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 boom. We can put a little bit more into here. All right, we'll take this over. We'll put it on the stove. We'll heat it up and then we'll add some flour and cornstarch to make gravy. All right, as you can see, it's bubbling up. The gravy is a bubbling up, bubbling up the gravy. Bubble up the bubble up a bubble up the gravy. All right, we're gonna thicken this baby up by putting in some flour and some cornstarch. Flour and cornstarch thicken up the gravy. Flour and cornstarch to thicken up the gravy. We're gonna put some cornstarch in first. Oops, 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 oops. Or go fuck yourself. And some to thicken up this gravy. Nice and thick. Look at that gravy. Time to play the meal. Time to play the meal. Well, came out pretty good, I'd say. It looks pretty good at least. So let's cut off some uh, of our Mississippi pot roast and let's get it plated. Time to plate the meal. It is falling apart. Look at that. It is literally falling apart on my fork. Look at that. Mm. Look at this, ooh, it's falling apart. It is so tender, it is falling apart. I'm, I may not even need like a knife to cut this. I mean, look at that. It is literally like falling apart. Here it is. See, look at that. Look at that, it's, it's literally like, just touch it, it falls apart. Kind of like the fucking devil's uh, goddamn motherfucking defense this year. There we go, all right. Get some carrots onto the plate. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Of course, some nice homemade from scratch mashed potatoes whipped up quite nicely. 
Time to play the me ho. Time to play the me ho. Oops, whoops. Everything is falling. Everything is falling. I got so much stuff in my kitchen. It is falling. All right. Now let's make our little gravy well and get some gravy. Gravy! Okay, oh, it came out really nice. Look how thick this gravy is. Gravy! You can almost spread it with a knife. Gravy! And there we go. Mississippi pot roast. All right. Now let's see how it actually tastes. Very tender. This is chuck roast. Chuck roast, the lowest quality meat you can get. Super, super tender. Got some mashed potatoes in here. Gravy came out great. Carrots, tender. Look at that. Look at this. Very tender. Very nice. Thank you again for sending this recipe. Jacob James and uh, Doug C. both wanted me to do Mississippi pot roast. Well, here you go. Mississippi pot roast. Bon Appetit, manja manja, let's eat. And if you have any, any other recipes, do like uh, Jacob and Doug did, send them to me at njtank99, gmail.com, at gmail.com. You never know what I'm gonna make next. And Beef Wellington is coming. So be patient, it's coming soon, very soon.